Hey everyone, what's up? It's Lauren Carr with Just Vegan and where in each episode we try to look at a different aspect of the vegan lifestyle and I am here on the East Coast visiting my Pogo Berkeley and today we're gonna do a vegan Halloween candy episode and I think Berkeley might be showing off some of her Halloween costumes. Ooh, exciting. And hey, if you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe because you do not want to be missing out on these spooktastic good times. So we want to let you all know that these vegan Halloween candies you could get in the UK and in the US and you could also get them on my Amazon affiliate account link in the link in the description below where I'm going to have all these vegan candies and a few others. Oh yes, so you can have a good spooktastic Halloween. Anyway, on to the first candy. Twizzlers. I don't know, these are a nice lovely strawberry treat. They're like strawberry vines. Oh yes, vegan. Puggles excited. So as a lot of you know, I do live over in the UK and the newest addition to the royal family is Princess Puggle. What? I know, very excited. Those corgis, they better watch out. But back to Halloween, we got some fun dip, which I think in the UK might be called sherbet, but it's basically, basically sugar, candied sugar that you take a stick Dip it into and love it on up. Gobstoppers. The everlasting gobstoppers. Ooh, we have a ferocious puggle lioness here. Ooh, rawr. Anyway, it's pretty good because we need something fierce to handle these warheads. Now these are super, super sour. Kind of says it in the name. These ones are chewy cubes. So you gotta be a fierce tiger like this one to handle those. Anyway, I might chew one of these later and just you guys can see my reaction just for fun. <laughs> So I told you I tried the Warhead cubes. Now I've tried like Warheads when I grew up. They were a hard candy and they were super sour. But these are the softer, more chewable ones. For those of you that can't handle insane amounts of sour, these are really nice. A little bit of sour, but oh, so chewy. I'm so glad we have a beautiful, fierce, pugilicious uh, lioness because we got some crybabies. Now these are, they're gum, but once again, they are also super, super tart and really, really sour. All right, so because I was able to handle the Warhead cubes, I thought I'd try the extra sour bubblegum crybabies. These were quite intense when I was younger. Yeah, they're still, I think I got a little bit cocky and super excited with the last ones there. If you like sour, you'll like these. <laughs> I'm gonna go cry now. Puggle in a new costume. Oh my gosh, she loves rocking a look. Maybe she'll do a little turn for us. Anyway, now that she's done prancing around, on to more candy. Now I'm not sure if you guys knew, but Jawbreakers. Oh yes, well these are ones, definitely be careful because <laughs> kind of says it in the name. Don't hurt the jaw. And the next one, oh, chocktasticness. Now this is kind of like a hazelnut chocolate, which is definitely one of my favorite vegan chocolates. It is so deliciously good. Maybe not so good for dogs because I know they shouldn't have chocolate, but you know, she's my little ghoul here today and I'm sure gremlins and ghouls eat these things. I don't know, <laughs> but it's good. Oh yes, we have some more Halloween treats. And because I got a little monkey here, this one loves the banana Laffy Taffy. Now Laffy Taffies, it says it in the name, they're taffies, they're soft chews, they come in different flavors, but since I got a monkey next to me, this one's going bananas for these. And for those chocoholics, Moo free! I don't know, I have to admit this is another one of my favorite vegan chocolates. What I like about this is it has caramelized hazelnut nibs in it. So when you bite into it, it has like a really nice little crunch to it. Oh my gosh, honestly, you will not be upset if you eat this. It's good for trick-or-treaters yourself, everyone. Oh my gosh, buy some for the whole family and your friends. Nerds! 
small little pieces of candy coming in many different flavors. We got the jolly old Pogo with the Jolly Rancher. Now Jolly Rancher comes in loads of different flavors. It's like a hard candy you can just like suck on. Really easy to give out because they're quite small. So if you got a lot of trick or treaters, just give them a few of these. And we got some Airheads, which it's a soft taffy or kind of like a soft chewy sweet. I don't know, I feel like when I put it on my tongue it almost disintegrates with flavor. Very sweet, there's loads of different flavors. I really like the white mystery, ooh, kind of ghostly. Puggle and I want to wish you a happy Halloween. As you could tell, that is that dog's favorite holiday for sure. I know we were showing you a lot of vegan treats and candies, but I think that dog kind of thought she was doing a Puggle runway show. Anyway, she loves a good costume. Those were just some ideas of some vegan candies out there. I know there's more, and if you have any ideas, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear. <laughs> so I hope you boils and ghouls. Have a really good Halloween, and I hope you found some vegan candies that you could give out or eat on your own. And remember, you can get them all on my Amazon affiliate account on the link below. And please make sure you like, share, and subscribe to Just Veganin, and follow me on Instagram at Just Veganin.